Taurus. My name is Marie. This is Indigo Earth Tarot, and I'm here to do a general reading for you, our Earth Signs Taurus. Thanks for coming into the channel. It's good to have you here. I also want to welcome in your cross watchers. Cross watchers, you are here to find out what's going on with your Taurus. So some of this message could be for you as well, because energies do flow in both directions. So feel free to swap around the characters or interpret the messages as they relate to your personal situation. And the messages that are coming through for you, Taurus, should reflect some aspect of your current situation. It does not have to reflect all of it. Or it could just confirm an inner knowing. So as always, I ask you to take what fits, and if it doesn't fit, please do not try to make it fit. If you are new here, welcome. Thanks for coming in. It's good to have you here. If you like the content being shared, please like and subscribe. Help the channel grow. And to my ongoing subscribers, I want to give you a shout out. Thank you for sustaining the channel and helping the channel to grow and get noticed. So let's get started for you. This is for Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, Taurus Rising. You have messages for those watching, please. Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, Taurus Rising. All right, what's the overall theme for the reading here? We have the Ten of Swords. So some sort of very difficult cycle is probably ending here for you, Taurus. Um, I don't think it's been pretty, <laughs> but it's definitely coming to an end. So let's see what the shared energy is here with you or this situation and this other person. We have the Knight of Swords. So messages or communication or um, some, some, something to do with communication or voicing your opinion or voicing your concerns. Let's see what your energy is. We have the Two of Pentacles. You could be oscillating back and forth a little bit here. Two of Pentacles can also represent this is an either or situation or you're looking at um, kind of two variables here. Not a whole lot of gray area, you know? So let's see what the energy is of this other person or this situation. We have the Queen of Swords. Okay, somebody is asking a lot of questions. Somebody is trying to get direct answers. Um, somebody could be making some judgment calls on something here. So what's the situation going on? We have the Seven of Swords. It has something to do with trust. This could also be something to do with, you know, maybe the truth is being distorted or the truth isn't being told in the situation. So what is the challenge for you then? We have the Five of Wands. So there's a lot of contrast going on here. There could be a lot of conflict going on. There could be a difference of opinions. There could be a lot of variables at play in this situation. So what is the energy that surrounds you you might not be aware of? We have the Queen of Wands. Could be about jealousy. Well, it's definitely about drama. But this could have something to do with jealousy. This could have something to do with... Um, Gossip, because we got a lot of swords coming through. And this could be an energy also of wanting attention. Kind of wanting to be the top notch. So what's coming towards you then? We have judgment. Oh, awareness is coming through. This could also be uh, second chances. So we'll see where that goes. And what's the outcome here? We have the Wheel of Fortune. Could be patterns and cycles that you're going through right now. Sometimes the Wheel of Fortune is about really looking at the patterns and the cycles that keep showing up in your life. Judgment could be a, about, you know, a lesson is trying to be learned here. Some sort of experience is trying to clear itself out here. So let's dive in, see what's going on with you, Taurus. Let's find out what the Two of Pentacles is. This is your energy right now. Could be about maybe making a decision between a couple of things, or you could be get going back and forth on a few things.
So clarify the two of pentacles for our Taurus, please. What is going on here? We have the Empress. We have the Emperor. Wow. And we have the Seven of Cups. Well, you've got the Empress and the Emperor here. So, you know, this is a kind of like trying to, like the two, the feminine and the masculine are, are like in opposition of each other right now. Either following guidance, your intuition. Usually these two try to balance themselves out, but because you have the Seven of Cups here, it seems like there's a lot of um, trying to figure out which way to go. And you got the two of pentacles. So one is trying to, you know, the feminine instincts, following your intuition, following your inner guidance, following your inner compass. And then you got the emperor. You know, that's the kind of like somebody whose practicality strategic planning decides to take action take movement and he got it with the seven of cups so there's kind of seems to be do i follow my inner guidance or do i follow you know do i stand up for battle so to speak do i stay quiet do i just kind of keep to myself do i not do you know should i just wait for things to unfold or do i just take action on a situation I think there's more variables at play here in this situation. And I, I think your inner guidance is trying to direct you to take action, but you may be you may be kind of wondering, you know, you, you may be confused about this, like trying to figure out what what your inner gut is telling you something. And you got the two of pentacles here, you know, a choice. Do I, you know, harden up, get hard, and take action on a situation, or do I follow what my gut instinct is telling me? So let's find out what the Queen of Swords is. Because you do have messages coming through here. This is a shared energy. So there's something inside of you that's trying to direct you here. What's the Queen of Swords? So this is the energy of either this other person or the situation. So I've got Taurus and Libra showing up. I've got Aries showing up. I've got Sagittarius showing up. I'm dealing with any of those signs. Could be their moon sign, could be their sun sign. So what is this Queen of Swords? Clarify what the Queen of Swords is. I've got the Ten of Wands, I've got the Six of Swords, and I got the Eight of Swords. I think somebody here, you know, you got the Ten of Wands, somebody's kind of at the end of their rope. And I, I think they're asking a lot of questions or trying to find out some clarity. They may be a little bit cold. They may be a little bit smart assy, <laughs> kind of witty. Um, I think they feel like the wolves being pulled over their, their head. Like they're, they're, I think they feel like they're not getting the direct answers that they want. And I, I think this person wants to either is walking away or leaving or, you know, like looking for a reason to leave, except that they're feeling a little bit like they're fogged in. They're fogged in. They don't know. That's why they're trying to get clarity here. They don't know what the situation is or what's going on. And I, I think they're at the end of their rope here because they can't, they can't get any straight answers. So what is the Seven of Swords then? 
This is a situation. So this could have to do with trust. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Cups. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. Well, you've got the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. That's about trust. It also could be about, you know, devotion. It could be about... Um, like you're waiting here. There's a, there's a situation where somebody's waiting here for their nine of cups, their happiness, their contentment, their joy. Um, someone's not trusting themselves. There's a waiting here for some sort of happiness to, to come through. I don't know if this is you or this is the other person, but... Something here has to do with somebody trying to either, I mean, this could be a test. Seven of Swords could be some sort of test. Testing somebody's either being trustworthy or testing to see if they're, um, you know, Queen of Pentacles could be something about loyalty or sustainability or, um, Waiting to see if somebody's going to trust you or trust or you're going to trust them or you're going to, this person will stay with it even if, you know, maybe even if they don't get the answers that they want. Something here about, you know, t testing somebody's loyalty. Because you got the Seven of Pentacles coming through here. And, you know, the Seven of Pentacles sometimes can be about complacency, procrastination, or just kind of hanging out. What is this Seven of Pentacles? There's definitely a lot of confusion around a situation going on here. Somebody's definitely at their end of their ropes trying to get clarity. Um, they may be walking away from a situation because they just feel like they're stuck. They can't see straight. They don't know what's going on. Somebody's loyalty here is being tested. And someone's just kind of waiting around to see. Tell me about this Seven of Cups. Yeah, hanged man. Somebody's just kind of waiting around here to see what's going to happen. So what is the five of wands then? We have the nine of pentacles. Because here's your challenge. We have the Magician.
And we have the Knight of Swords. Well, you know, there's independence here. There's, there's a challenge of um, creating some sort of independence for yourself, being able to speak your truth, speak your mind, speak what you need to say, um, be clear about it. Because either you're trying to create some independence for yourself in a, in a situation where there seems to be a lot of alternate dynamics going on, It's like you've got the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine battling each other. Somebody's instincts here, or, you know, something isn't being seen clearly. And you got the Emperor here, so the Emperor is causing a lot of confusion, stirring up a lot of dust. And somebody here is, like, at their wit's end about it. Like, it's almost like they, they have to leave to get themselves clear of the dust that's being... You know, and I think somebody's really, you know, being kind of, uh, I don't, they're being tested on their loyalty here. Because there's no action being taken in the situation. And somebody's pretty comfortable there. Somebody's pretty complacent, not taking action on a situation right now to kind of clear this all up. Kind of like being content in this confusing state. And, you know, maybe more communication or more words or more, you know, there could be some anger here as well. But you've got the Knight of Swords and what the challenge is. And you got the Knight of Swords in the shared energy. So there could be conversations going back and forth here between, you know, Somebody who's trying to follow their instincts and somebody who is causing a great deal of confusion in this situation. Because this kind of seems to be, you've got the Ten of Swords, a no-win situation. So what is the Queen of Wands? We've got the Star. I've got uh, Virgo and Gemini showing up in here. I've got Aquarius showing up in here. I've got Pisces and Cancer showing up as well. If you're dealing with any of those signs. We have the Seven of Wands. And we have the Five of Swords. Well, somebody wants to win this situation. Because we have the Queen of Wands here. So, you know, Queen of Wands is somebody who is um, pretty solid in who they are. Um, really uses kind of their magnetism to... I mean, that's confidence. You know, the Queen of Wands is very confident. The Queen of Wands is an attention grabber. The Queen of Wands is somebody who's very um, seen. <laughs> somebody who's very seen. Somebody that, you know, people like to be around. Somebody, you know, that's kind of like put on a pedestal. Good looking, charming, um, commands the attention in the room. And I think somebody's hoping here that they win this battle. That, you know, this person kind of stands above the rest. Seven of Wands. Somebody who kind of stands out in the crowd. And you got the Five of Swords here. That's battle. Wanting to win. Wanting to win over. So let's find out what judgment is. This is what's coming towards you.
I mean, somebody here feels pretty content, Nine of Pentacles, in what they're, they're you know, you got the magician in their power here. And they're definitely um, speaking that, communicating that. Could be verbally, it could not be verbally. You know, it could just be by their aura or the way they carry themselves. But I think there's a conflict of interest with this. So what's judgment? We've got the Four of Wands. We have the Queen of Cups, and we have the Ten of Pentacles. So I think the opportunity here is, you know, this situation is coming around for some sort of healing to take place. Because whatever this dynamic is going on between you and this other person, you know, this cycle wants to clear itself out. This, the way that maybe conflict is resolved, or the way that communication goes back and forth between the two because you got you know two very powerful you got the empress and the emperor they're supposed to be balancing themselves out you know it's a dynamic couple the dynamic duo coming in here but you know in this situation there seems to be a lot of like a power struggle seems to be a power struggle and I, I think this, the opportunity is coming around here again for um, to really heal the foundation that this dynamic or this relationship has been built on. This could be about, you know, the Queen of Cups, um, listening, forgiveness, compassion, empathy, love. Because there's definitely love here. There's definitely, you know, you wouldn't have the Queen of Cups coming in here. But again, you got the Queen of Cups. Somebody, somebody here needs to take more action, or the both of you, right, to heal this, needs to take more action on um, following their inner guidance and their, their intuition. Because you got judgment. There's some realizations coming through here that need to be seen, that want to be seen, and want to be heard. And it could be heard through some of the communication that you're having with each other, some of the power dynamics or the power struggles that you're having with each other. Because one of you is in more power and is using their voice than the other. And someone here is kind of relying on their... Um, you know, they kind of stand apart. They stand apart from the rest. They kind of are, you know, you've got some, the seven of wands, somebody stands out in the crowd and, and they feel like that's, you know, going to win this battle or win over. So let's find out what the wheel of fortune is. Whatever this is, this, this cycle needs to stop. I think the opportunity is coming to heal this. The foundation here of which this has kind of been playing itself out. So we have the Page of Pentacles coming through, we have the Page of Swords coming through, and we have the Four of Swords coming through again, and we have the Eight of Pentacles coming through. So I think this is, you know, you've got judgment, second chances, something coming around again, some kind of lesson is repeating itself in this situation, this dynamic. The way that you've got the Ten of Swords and you've got the Ten of Pentacles. The way that the foundation here has been built, um, 
between this, you know, kind of like a power struggle. Somebody's there's always somebody who's in power over somebody else. And I think it's coming around again because, you know, it's you've got the page of wands pentacles here. It's time to learn something in this situation. And you got the page of swords, you know, that is about acquiring knowledge, learning, apprenticeship. And you've got the four of swords again, healing, and you've got the eight of pentacles. What is the focus here? Is the focus on, what are the two of you focusing on? The dynamics of power struggles or communicating, you know, more of a learning experience here. So let's get a clarity. Let's get some guidance here for you, Taurus. Because this could be all about how you communicate, what you're speaking to each other. Um, but this is about trying a different approach, maybe listening a little bit more, Page of Swords, learning something from this situation and healing it is where the focus needs to go. Take a break. Give me one more, please. And let go. I mean, maybe the situation, you do have the Ten of Swords here. Maybe the situation needs to take a break for a little while and let go and allow, you know, allow this, because you got to take a break down here in the situation. Seven of Pentacles, not doing anything, kind of biding your time, and you got the hanged man. You know, don't do anything. So the situation might be calling to just take a break, let it go, Kind of resolve your own stuff. Look at your own, you know, power struggles within yourself because you do have the emperor and the empress here. Following your inner guidance or taking action on something. And it, it looks like you're trying to make a decision on, on what you're doing here with that. And I think the answers will come when you just kind of release this to the universe. Because here's where your realization is coming in. The opportunity for this to come in. Follow your inner knowing and your inner guidance. You know, that's where the healing comes in. It's been here all along. You got the Ten of Pentacles there. It's been here all along. May have been knocking at your door for quite some time. And I think this relationship or this situation is kind of showing you the power struggle within yourself. It's like mirroring it to you. The power struggle within yourself is playing out within this relationship. So that's what I have for you this week, Taurus. I hope this helped. And until our next reading, Grand Rising Taurus. Bye-bye.